It is back to school for hundreds of students across our area, including those at Kannapolis City Schools. That's right. The system of nine schools serves 5,400 students, and the superintendent says their biggest challenge ahead of the first day is staffing, especially for their smaller school system. WBTV's David Wisnett spoke with the superintendent. What are they doing, David, to stand out here? Well, Mary, they're doing things like offering programs that he considers to be very unique. The superintendent said that in several schools they are offering things like dual language immersion and drone technology. That's one of the new programs being offered at A.L. Brown High School. That is the system's only high school there in Kannapolis, but it is one that regularly scores well in academics and sports. The system has eight other schools in Kannapolis. The superintendent says this year is about the three P's people, parents, and programs. We really want to engage parents more. Um, that's a, been an ongoing focus, but we want to ramp that up even more this year and uh, just continue to get our name out into the region, um, into the community, into the region, into the state. Um, you know, again, kind of celebrating our people and celebrating the programs that we have and opportunities that we have in this district. Now this morning I've been reporting about Kannapolis schools, but also Rowan Salisbury schools, and I've got something to tell you. You've been talking a lot about a big concert that's taking place in Charlotte tonight. There's actually another one. The rock group Foreigner, they're playing tonight at PNC Music Pavilion. They will be joined on stage by a chorus from the Jesse C. Carson High School here in Rowan County. That's right, the chorus will be backing up Foreigner tonight at PNC. Reporting live at Eisenberg Elementary in Salisbury, David Wisnett, WBTV on your side.